How's it going everyone? Happy Friday. It's May 15th right now and the market recently closed in the past two hours here. As you can see, if you can see behind me, we had a green day, but buying not that much. And I'm actually going to put a photo on the screen of the Dow Jones index right here. Um, if you guys can see this whole week, we just saw a consolidation. This, there wasn't really much up and down action. It was just really choppy and not a week that I wanted to play options in. I did call some shares in my group chat that we did pick up and they are all in profit at the moment. But we did not go in with any options this week just because it's still uncertain of what direction the market's going to head towards. And yeah, I'll get into the stocks in a minute, but let's get to today's video of how to get a 1000% return. So to get a 1000% every single time on every single stock you own, you have to do one simple thing. And that thing is... Stupid, I'm not going to let you get the chance. Patience. You guys... I get messages like this all the time. I'm going to insert one. The reason I made this video today is because of a message I got this morning at 3.23 a.m. in my beautiful sleep. And I'm not trying to be mean to anyone, but I'm just going to let everyone know right now that if you're trying to get a 1,000% returns on every single stock instantly, right away, you're going to be disappointed pretty quickly. Uh, you guys are going to come to realization that it takes time. You know, every stock that you choose, you may take a loss at first, and you may make it back in a dividend over time, or you may make it back... You know, it just truly depends. So yeah, if you guys came to this video really thinking I was going to tell you how to get a thousand percent return, you came to the wrong place. There's no such thing. To show you an example of why you can't always be so sudden to get a thousand percent return is because take a look at this, guys. If I go to Disney right here, a stock that I own on my portfolio, um, I bought them at the average cost of $120, which I actually bought at a higher cost. I just increased my position as the market went down recently. But... If you take a look at my total return, I am down 10% almost, almost $400 I'm down. That is a lot of money. And I have seen that stock go down almost $700. So I have taken a tough loss on Disney. But the thing is, is I'm not worried because over time, this will be a return. I will see return on this. Um, if we take a look, Disney was recently trading at $150 at its you know highest point a couple months ago. Now, I'm not saying that a stock is always going to return to the previous price point that it once was, but there's a good chance of it. And Disney is a great company. They're huge. And I'm not worried because over time, it will come back and make the return that I want to see. And I will get that 1,000% gain. Another example right here, just right down on my portfolio, guys. Boeing right here. I own six shares at the cost of $152, and Boeing's at $120. This is a huge aerospace company, huge in planes, huge. And that market is really down right now. Eventually, planes and aerospace will go back up. So I know that right now, I am currently down $200, but maybe in 10 years, this stock will be up 1000 and I'll be so happy with my returns. And that's 1,000% returns that I was looking for in the first place. So what I'm just trying to say is don't be upset when you see the stock take a U-turn when you first purchase. And understand, if you guys buy a stock and it goes negative, break it down. Do your research on it, okay? Understand why that stock went down. Was it news? Was it, you know, the fundamentals of uh, it looking bearish? I need you guys to break it down and really understand why your stock is going down because that will help you in the future on your other trades so that you know what, it's, what the market's looking like and how it normally reacts when stuff happens. So now that we're past the part of everyone coming to realization that you're not always going to have 100% profits right away, let's show you guys some stocks that we went into this week. And the book of the week that I'm going to be recommending is if you're looking into real estate property or looking to learn about investing in a real estate property, check out this book right here. I don't know if it's backwards or not, but you could get this book on Amazon. Great book. Everyone go take a look. It's only 300 pages. 200, you know, it's the, it's the good pages. It's the easy pages to read. Nothing too hard. You know what I'm saying? And this book really helps if you're trying to learn the basics. No sponsorship, no sponsorship. But yeah, everyone, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.